Hey guys, and welcome to your fourth HTML5 game development tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be covering animations and how you can implement them to make your games a lot more exciting. So to start off, I'm just going to point something out about um, the images that you're going to use when you want to make an animation. So normally we've been importing these image images one by one. But really what you want to do with animations is have one image which stores all the different frames of your animation. That way the browser doesn't have to load a bunch of images at once. So here's the animation we're going to be working with in uh, this tutorial. Um, here you can see the frames are laid out left to right and row by row. And so what we're going to do is we're going to write some code to um, to jump through frame by frame. So to start off, let's just uh, add another image file to our code. So let's make our uh, image variable for the explosion. So it's a new image, and I'll just add its source. Make sure it's a PNG, otherwise, like I said before, you're going to have the ugly white background when it gets rendered. And explosion image, explosion ready. I'm going to set that to false like we did earlier with the other images. And we're going to um, give it an on load handler so that um, it only gets, it only the browser only tries to render it once it's ready. Whoops, this is supposed to go inside the curly braces. There we are. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to add, um, we're going to add the explosion image in the render method. So now that we're using an animation, I'm going to introduce uh, a bunch of other parameters into this method, which I hadn't shown you before. So um, it's going to take the image, like before, um, and then it's going to take a clip x coordinate. And what this coordinate uh, tells the, the browser is where to start uh, cutting, where to, where to start uh, clipping out the image. So at, at the beginning of our animation, we just want this first um, this first image right here. So we're going to start clipping right here, and then we're going to grab the first 256 pixels down. And we also want to grab um, the first 256 pixels to the right. So I'll show you that in just a second. So we're going to add um, 256, um, 256. Here we're going to add the size uh, of the image we want to clip out. So the size we want is 256, uh, 256. And then um, we want to add the uh, x and y coordinates to put it at. So for now, um, we're going to uh, put it at explosion.x and explosion.y and the, um, the resize coordinates. So let's, let's say we want the explosion at half uh, half the size that it appears over here. So we'll make it 128 by 128. Now I haven't created the explosion object yet, so let's do that. So it's going to be a map, and the map's going to contain a position, a next position, and we'll start it at, let's say, uh, 250, and a Y position of 250. That's where we're going to render it on our canvas. Okay, now the other thing that we're going to have is a, um, is a counter to keep track of which image we're taking out. So once we've picked out this one, the next one is going to, we're going to, we're going to want to pick out this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create, um, an X coordinate for, um, uh, the frame and a Y coordinate for the frame. Um, and um, we're going to set the x-coordinate of the frame 
to 0 at the start, and the y coordinate at the frame to 0 as well. Now what this is going to do is, um, well we're going to use this to, uh, to pick out which frame we want. So here we're going to multiply this by x frame, sorry, explosion dot x frame, and here explosion dot y frame. Okay, and what what we're doing here is, remember those two those two parameters specify where we start clipping. So um, every time this gets every time x frame and y frame get inter incremented, we are going to shift those coordinates. So what we're gonna we're gonna program this later, but um, after after this frame has been rendered, the next render we're gonna shift over here, and then we're gonna render this frame. So every time uh, we increment, we're going to be shifting 256 to the right. And once we get to the end of, the, of these images, we're going to shift 256 down and reset the X frame to zero. But I'll, just, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, after we've rendered this thing, we want to increment explosion dot X frame uh, one unit. And uh, after this, we're going to want to check whether we've gone overboard. So we're going to say if explosion dot x frame is equal to 8, then um, we want to set it back to 0. And the reason for that is if this is equal to 8 and we didn't change it back to 0, then our next frame would start clipping right at the edge here, and we would have nothing because uh, we're past the image width. So there's one other thing we want to do after this, and that is, um, if this is true, we want to increment uh, explosion.yframe by one. And the reason for that is, once uh, once you reach the end on our frames in the in, on this row. We want to go to the next row. So not only do we want to set uh, our clipping, uh, our x clipping back to here, we want to increment our y clipping so that we start grabbing the images in the second row. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say if the explosion dot y frame is equal to five, um, we're going to set explosion dot y frame back to zero. And the reason um, this number is five is because um, there we have six rows. So um, actually, the, the number should be six because we have six rows. So if uh, our counter is currently at six, we're going to be off of this image, and we're not going to render anything. So let's change that to six. Oh, and actually, we have to make sure this equals is written like that because one equal sign is an assignment and two is a comparison. So now that that's done, let's open up our uh, game and have a look at, uh, at what it looks like. And you see that we have an animation that just keeps repeating. Now, what we're going to want to do for our game later on is, um, is, have the, is have our spaceship shoot stuff and then set some sort of uh, boolean system to um, turn an turn an animation off once it is it has gone through once, but uh, that's something for another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you soon.